one thing about Canada, definitely have snow. So this is going to be a quick video that we're going to add to the boulders that we did not too long ago. Uh, ice boulders, these little guys. I said I had an idea to kind of add to them and um, I think I know what that's going to be because we look at these tiles, okay, and it's supposed that's supposed to be snow. Now I can't really make these tiles into snow you know, because basically these tiles are used to join two of the mats together, you know, where there isn't snow, for instance. So I would have to do the whole map like that so that these become part of, so it's just not possible. But the bases on these, they're not quite, I think this snow should be more resembled on the base of these. So today, we're gonna try out a new thing that I picked up from Vallejo, ground texture, acrylic, snow. And it's pretty neat. It has, I guess, kind of a bit of a grit or something in it, and it hardens in it. It looks pretty much like snow. It's very cool. Uh, I might find some other uses for it. I may use it with other bases for other characters. Just like how I use the water texture for um, basing the investigators for deep madness. You know, I'm sure I'll find other uses for it. So there's a lot in here. You know, and it could be, I might even just use it for creating some of my own terrain uh, for D&D or something like that too. Uh, pretty cool. You know, so um, let's see about adding this to those ice boulders we made. So as I mentioned, you know, these are made when you have a base like this and you're connecting another one, say to this connection point here, you know, and it's supposed to be all continuously one piece. So these actually uh, fit over that spot like so so that it becomes you know a path going through to the next section you know uh, instead of like a wall or, a, or an obstruction or a door or something being in the way right if you wanted to make one giant piece all the same so that's really what those are for you know, so it makes no sense to have them on the board for any other reason. But these, well, to blend the bases into the ground a little better, that's where we're going to use this snow. So let's try it out. Comes out pretty chunky. And you just kind of dab it on probably use my little dab tool there but I think with the brush I can actually kind of work in and try and get it into some of the little nooks like that there get it right up against build some up too so it actually looks like you know maybe you have some low spots of snow like this And then other spots where it'll be built up. Like that. Oh yeah, that looks cool. It's almost like basing a character. You know, just so that it's not something sitting on some flat 
piece of plastic. You've got foliage or you've got, you know, uh, ground like dirt or, or uh, gravel or rocks or grass or something. In this case, we've got snow. So we don't want to leave any brush strokes, that's for sure. We want to make sure that it's all just those little lumps. So it looks kind of like just snow that's sitting there. Make sure you get all the edges. And that, I think, looks pretty cool. That, I think, goes a little bit better with the scene. Almost done this one. It's very easy to apply, really. Just make sure I don't have any along the edges there, so that way, if I had two of these butt up against each other, like this, it's not going to interfere with each other. One last one to go. Ooh. I'll put lots on this one now because I just kind of slammed it in there. That's okay. I think this one's going to look good that way. Look at that, how it just kind of bunches right up in there. It looks cool. You pretty much just put it on thick. That and washes off the brush easy. Oh, and then just do this. Make sure that all the edges are clear. A bit of a brush stroke there. And there we have it. That, I think, looks pretty darn cool. Very cool. Definitely adds a much better element to it. So there we have it.
snow. Snow around our ice blocks. I think that looks pretty slick. It's definitely going to add a cool element to the game. You know, and when it comes to... When it comes to making Gloomhaven extras like this, the ice blocks and the, the doors and the water texture tiles and all that kind of stuff, again, you know, at least you can go out there and you it's crazy the things that you can buy. You know, from 3D printed, uh, you know, or, or reconstructed or all these other crazy things that they've, they've made, but it's all money, right? You know, I've seen some pretty impressive looking stuff. They even have uh, walls you can buy to go around the map or even reconstruct your maps completely with all textured tiles that you can paint or even buy already painted, right? But the, the thing is, is it's stuff you have to buy. In this particular case, these pretty cool little stones or ice stones you know, with the snow and everything around them, was just made from foam. You know, just simple foam and foam core. You know, like you get a big, big sheet of this. Like I still have all of this and you know, I've made a whole bunch of stuff and I still have that and that's just one sheet. And you get that from Dollar Tree for like a buck. You go buy a two foot by, I think it was a two foot by eight foot sheet of this stuff at about, an, I think it's a one inch thick from Home Depot for, you know, it's dollars. You know, it's not that expensive. It's expensive if you have to go wrap a house with it or something, then yeah, you, cause you're buying a whole bunch of them. We're building little things with this stuff, so it's cheap. Uh, these guys here, um, I bought them down at uh, North Bay Games and Hobbies. They're under 20 bucks. That's still 20 bucks. Now the amount I used here is next to nothing. So really, these still cost me nothing to make. But I have this now also to keep making more and more and more stuff, right? Or when it comes to stones that I get from Michaels for basing characters, right? I've seen some molded stuff for uh, Gloomhaven that's amazing, but it's also big bucks. It is what it is. If you like what you see and you think Gloomhaven Extras is pretty cool, give it a thumbs up, right? Smash the like button. Subscribe to my channel, it'd be great. I think these were pretty cool. It's definitely a neat little add-on. In the end too, even when I'm done playing Gloomhaven, that might still be a nice little prop for D&D or any other tabletop, uh, even if I was playing Super Dungeon Explorer, which is completely modifiable. Really, really cool game. Kind of like D&D with little cards and lots of dice and lots of rolling. So it's, it's fun, it's a really fun game. Uh, if you want to see something cool, check out Super Dungeon Explorer or even Arcadia Quest. Arcadia Quest though, a little bit more story driven, so you're using the stuff that's in that game, but Super Dungeon Explorer is completely open. You know, there's a basic concept to it, you follow that, you can really make your own maps if you wanted to. Anyway, I'm just rambling now because this was going to be a short video. <laughs> so, like, comment, subscribe, and remember in Gloomhaven, he's not dead, he's loot.